Back in March, police searched the home of Philip Michael Chikwin's parents and found his computer. On it, they found victims ranging from Canada, the U.S., to Romania, and even to the Philippines. Chikwin admitted he was using Skype to direct parents overseas to inflict real-time sexual abuse on their children. On his computer, police found 580 videos and more than 4,000 photos showing horrific child abuse. In excerpts in an earlier hearing, you could hear those children's screams echoing through the courtroom. And on the tape, Chikwin was heard saying he preferred children who cried during the abuse. Over five years, Chikwin would have paid more than $20,000 for those online exchanges. Court heard he was just days away from traveling to the Philippines to engage in real-time abuse of preteens and toddlers when police here caught up with them. They say nine children in the Philippines were rescued last week as a result of this investigation. The police investigator on this case says he still has nightmares. This one, the, the material in his collection was some of the worst stuff I've ever seen. Um, and like I said, it caused nightmares. It caused me to, to have trouble even dealing with my own kids at home. So it certainly wasn't easy to deal with. Uh, had to go out and, and get some counseling to work through it and, and continue to work through it. So The court takes these very seriously and imposed a serious sentence to atone for the crimes against children that occurred. The judge in this case noted Chikwin is relatively young and that he is seeking help. She says she thinks there is hope for his rehabilitation. She's recommended that he serve this sentence at the Regional Psychiatric Centre. Jennifer Cannell, CBC News, Saskatoon.